welcome to my week 27 bump update um, so this week baby is the size of a cucumber or a head of cauliflower uh, so getting bigger I don't really eat cauliflower that often so that size doesn't really mean much to me um, and then cucumber, I'm guessing it means it's about the length of a cucumber and not really the size of it since cucumbers are kind of skinny. Uh, more on baby. So this week, baby is starting to sleep in regular intervals. Um, he is opening and closing his eyes. He's starting to suck on his fingers. Uh, he gets hiccups more often. Uh, his brain is developing more and his brain waves are um, comparatively that of a newborn. And then his lungs are maturing as well. So if he were to be born right now, he would probably um, have a pretty good shot of, of making it through and living, but he would need a lot of medical attention. So it's good to know that I'm kind of, I think I'm past the point of viability. Um, you know, if I were to go into labor early, which I don't think will happen and I hope does not happen, um, that he would be able to survive. It would just be a long hospital stay and a lot of medical intervention. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Symptoms this week, um, I've been feeling a lot of heartburn, um, which I kind of talked about that in my last video too. It's just gotten more intense lately. Um, I have to take Tums much more often, um, but I really only experience it when I'm laying down. Um, a lot of other people say like, oh, I experience it a lot after I eat certain foods. For me, it's, I really don't get it after I eat. It's just when I lay down. Um, another symptom that I got, um, which I haven't been getting too much, but I have gotten a little bit of nausea here and there. And it really only comes when I've eaten a big meal. And I was Googling it and found that starting at 27 weeks, like, you know, the baby's taking up so much room, your stomach is so much smaller. Um, and so if you eat regular meals, it just can't fit into your stomach. It causes heartburn and nausea. So I'm trying to moderate what I eat. I'm still feeling really hungry all the time. I always want to eat. I always want to snack. Um, I always want to eat junk unhealthy food <laughs> so I'm trying to limit you know that the amount that I eat too much um, so I can avoid the nausea and the heartburn um, I tend to get really hungry at night right before um, I go to bed which is I feel like is not the best time to eat so I try not to snack too much at night but that's usually when I'm my hungriest it's in the mornings for breakfast which has been like that ever since the nausea went away I've always been super hungry for breakfast and now it's at night right before I go to bed I get super hungry as well baby has been super active this week gosh it, I can just feel every movement now he moves all the time um, uh, beforehand it would be like he would kick here and there um, sometimes I would get an active spell for a couple minutes um, but it wouldn't be too much or it'd be really soft movement so it'd almost be kind of hard for me to feel now and then now his movements are bigger more forceful stronger um, and he is just instead of just feeling like kicks and jabs here and there it's like i feel fluid movements from him i feel him dragging his elbow or his knee across my my belly um, and i feel him doing flips and turns and it's a really cool feeling um and you know if he hates he's very sassy he hates loud noises so I went and saw a play the other day and of course they had very loud music and songs the whole time and he was moving like crazy did not care for that um, and I can feel it most like right under my belly button when he moves right under there it's like he he'll move and then he'll like keep some body part stuck up against my skin and so it's almost like i kind of have to like rub it a little bit and then he'll like go away um i'm having a hard time trying to figure out like is that his head is that his butt is that his elbow like i can't really tell but i can tell that he's moving a lot i have been noticing him hiccup a little bit more so i've really only felt him hiccup like a handful of times um 
and I don't know if that's just he's not hiccuping very often or he is and I'm sleeping but I really haven't felt it that much but I did feel it the other day and I swear they continued for like five minutes it was crazy he was hiccuping like forever um, so long that I got up and I had Anthony feel it Anthony could feel him hiccup as well Anthony has been feeling the baby move a ton as well he gets a kick out of it he always smiles when he can feel the baby he likes to play with the baby he'll poke him on one side and then baby will poke back or baby will squirm to the other side and then he'll poke that side and um, it's kind of cute seeing him interact with the baby you know the little interaction that he can do while baby's still in my tummy but yeah with his movements much more active and forceful it's much easier for Anthony to see it and to feel it so I get a real kick out of seeing Anthony enjoy that because I enjoy it all the time um, baby is really active in the mornings um, I can just feel him all the time and it's especially when I lay down on my side is when I feel him the most active which I googled that as well and they say that usually when you are on your side baby is more active because the blood flow is just better and so he just gets more energy that way so I definitely feel it so in the mornings when I wake up and then at night right before I go to bed I feel him kicking like crazy another symptom this week I finally feel like my belly button is flat now I had a an any belly button and now I feel like it's flat uh, flat like flush against my skin I don't feel like it's poking out yet or popped but it's definitely flat and not an any anymore. So it's not really an any, but it's not really an Audi. So I don't really know what to classify it as. A flat belly button? I don't know. But that's kind of where that's going right now. I have noticed myself getting tired a lot more easily. Um, I'm not as, I don't have as much energy as I used to. I'm a little more lazy. Um, I get tired really early. I'm starting to go bed earlier and earlier. So my weight, it's kind of been fluctuating up and down. Um, when I first got back from like all the holidays, I know I, I knew I had gained a lot more weight. Um, and so when I weighed myself, I think I was at either 142 or 143, uh, which was I mean, obviously the highest I've ever been. Usually I'm in the 120s, so like 140s are just crazy. Um, but then I weighed myself uh, the other day, and my weight was at about 138, 139. So it's been fluctuating, trying like getting back to a regular schedule where I'm eating better and not snacking and eating, you know, unhealthy foods all the time, like cookies and you know sweets and things like that. Um, so right now, yeah, I'm about the high 30s right now, which I think is good. It's not stressing me out too bad about my weight. Um, I have my doc, my next doctor's appointment is next week. And so, you know, I'm sure they'll, they'll take my weight and tell me if, you know, it looks alarming to them, but they haven't so far and I don't expect them to now. I don't really have any new symptoms of cravings or food aversions. I still really like mac and cheese and root beer. Um, and I'm always craving sweets, um, but other than that, I'm pretty boring. I'm still staying away from chicken. Um, it's just not my favorite, and even like thinking about it, it just doesn't sound that appealing to me. So for now, I'm just staying away from that. I'm hoping that the whole chicken food diversion thing is not permanent because that would make me really sad because I just love chicken. Baby is still really sassy. He hates when anything is putting pressure on my belly. Um, so I'll put my hands, I'll rest my hands on my belly, I'll put my phone on my belly, Anthony will put his hands on my belly, and baby will just kick like crazy, um, telling us to get that away from him because he uh, obviously does not like it. So he's already got his own little personality. Um, with the names, we have thought of a couple more names, um, but we haven't settled on anything yet. So right now we have Archer, Simon, Clark, and Elliot kind of as our front runners. We're still open to more names, but I swear we've gone through every boy name that ever exists and uh, weeded out all the ones we don't like. So I kind of feel like those are the ones that, you know, we'll pick out of one of those. Um, so comment down below. Let me know if you like any of those names or what you think. Um, I have a feeling that Anthony is leaning more towards Elliot. 
Um, and I don't know, I'm kind of waiting for a name to just like pop out at me. I just want, I just want there to be a name that comes forward and I just be like, yes, that's it. That's the name. But I haven't had that so far. So I'm almost wondering if I'm just going to have to settle for, yeah, I guess that's good enough. I don't know. I'm not swelling too much. Um, my feet don't feel sw more swollen than what they were and my hands aren't too swollen. Um, I don't feel like my face is too swollen yet, so um, I haven't been experiencing any swelling yet, but I'm sure that is to come. So I still don't have any stretch marks on my belly. Um, I'm still working on the stretch marks underneath my boobs, and then also I've seen stretch marks around like the, my sides around my hip area, so I've been starting to put um, the lotion on that as well. I have been getting a bit of like an itchy belly here and there and it's always like the same spot. It's kind of like on my left side, like right underneath my ribs. It just, um, you know, really itch. And you know, when I itch it, it's like I don't get that relief. It just hurts. That's been kind of annoying to deal with. I still am not feeling any back pain, which is amazing. I have not put on my uh, back brace since um, December and it's in today's January 8th so um, I am not feeling any back pain at all it's super nice um, I don't feel any rib pain at all either um, so I'm assuming it was just ba baby who was causing all that pain and baby has shifted so I'm feeling great now don't have to wear that belly band I'll keep you guys updated if it changes I'm still feeling pretty congested in my nose I've had a runny nose lately um, and it's still pretty stuffy at times um, and my nose just feels really itchy all the time as well so that's just kind of been a uh, constant through my pregnancy I'm not really sure why, but that's just one of the symptoms I'm dealing with. Sometimes when I'm walking around, I swear I can feel baby like pushing or leaning or something on my bladder because it'll just, I'll get that urge to go when I know I just went, you know, a couple minutes ago. So that's been kind of funny to have to deal with. Um, and thankfully like he'll move away from it a couple minutes later, but it is it is kind of weird to deal like with that sensation. I do feel like my belly has gotten really big. I'll show you guys my belly in a, in a little bit here. Um, but I do feel like it's gotten bigger. Like every time I sit up, I, I you know, obviously I don't sit up straight like I should, but I kind of hunch over. I hunch over like forward and it's like there's no room between like the top of my belly and the bottom of my boob so I have been noticing that change and I think my boobs have grown because um, they are overfilling my bra and I really need to go get a new one <laughs> so let me show you my 27 week belly okay guys here's my 27 week bump so here it is I have a sweatshirt on let me pull that up. So here's my belly from the side. Like I said, I'm starting to see like stretch marks right here. So I've been starting to put lotion on them. Um, but here's my belly from the side. Here it is from the front. And here it is from the side. Again, you can see like more stretch marks. So definitely things I have been dealing with. Um, but yeah. Baby's growing nice, and my belly's looking bigger. And like I was saying, my belly feel my belly button feels flat. It's kind of hard to see, um, but I definitely feel like it's like flush with the rest of my skin. So there's my belly button. Okay, guys, that's all I have for this week. Um, tune in next week. I have my next doctor's appointment. I am dreading it. Um, I'm taking my glucose test to test and see if I have gestational diabetes so I get to drink the fun drink. Um, and also, they get to draw my blood an hour afterwards. And also, I have to get two shots. Um, I have to get one because I have a negative um, blood type, so I have to get the RH Rogam shot, and then the other shot I have to get for whooping cough, so it's not going to be fun, I'm not looking forward to it, but um, it's all necessary, and it's all for the baby, so I guess I'll deal with it. 
Um, so stay tuned for that video. Um, but for now, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. Bye guys.